Everyone, you guys hear me? Yeah. Um, can we can we invite everybody to move up closer and get cozy, get intimate? Not too intimate. Um, we've just got 30 minutes here. Uh, I know uh, Girish and Jessica have some great material for us, so let's let's move up, get close. Uh, if there's somebody whose screen you can look off of, that might be good. Thanks, everyone. Great. Um, so my name is James Wadsworth. I'm part of the Qualtrics Partner Network team. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, the speakers um, at this last session here. Uh, um, and just kind of by way of, by way of introduction, uh, many of you saw the Qualtrics Partner Network. It was launched at the main stage yesterday. Um, UGOM has been uh, a great partner with Qualtrics over the last 18 months plus. Uh, and they are one of our premier launch partners. They're great to work with um, and have real deep uh, CX and Qualtrics expertise. Uh, so you guys have, uh, are in for a treat here. Um, so. Uh, so Girish is uh, one of our presenters here. Girish has spent uh, over a decade um, managing a variety of teams at UGOM, but has deep experience and he leads the entire customer experience practice at UGOM Solutions. Uh, I've worked with Girish for a long time and can attest to his expertise in this area. Uh, we also have Jessica War uh, Warbeck from Milliman. Jessica has spent the last uh, 13 plus years at Milliman as a marketing manager um, in Mil Milliman Omaha's employee benefits, health and welfare practice. She works closely with marketing, business development, and senior leaders, managing, coordinating, prioritizing, and executing various marketing sales and overall business initiatives. So uh, with that, let's uh, give a good welcome to our presenters here. Thank you, everyone. My name is Girish. Before I get started, to all the women in this room, I just wanted to take a moment and wish a very happy Women's Day. Uh, you all deserve it. You, are, you guys are awesome, okay? So, yeah. All right. So, welcome to the most uh, awaited session. Looking at the crowd, I could say that it's the most <laughs> awaited session uh, for two reasons. One, we have uh, amazing content to show. And, uh, you know, this is the last session before we all get to see Maroon 5. I know we are all excited for it. Half of the crowds have gone back to the hotel, so we'll finish up this quickly so that we, we all get a chance to visit the great event tonight, okay? All right, so in today's session, uh, we are going to talk or rather share a case study on why Milliman, my client, wanted to build a very customized data collection solutions for their end user, right? Uh, so my uh, so my client, Jessica, she would be sharing about the Milliman's context and what we did to help them build a great, you know, data collection solutions for them. But before we get into that, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes, uh, just wanted to give you a little background about my company, Ugam, what we do and who we are, okay? So we, oh, it's, so we are data and analytics company helping manufacturers and retailers make data driven decision to help business improve, to help them improve their business performance, right? So we, we work with companies like B2B, B2C, and we work with various, uh, and, work with, and we work with various research and consulting companies. Across these companies, uh, we help them through a different spectrum of analytics, right from prescriptive to descriptive, helping them understand what happened, why it happened, what will happen, and what action they need to take. Okay. So with the launch of Coltrix Partner Network, Ugam and Coltrix are extremely delighted to come together with a firm belief that Coltrix awesome experience management platform when combined with Ugam's data and analytics capabilities would really help companies to amplify their XM strategy. 
uh, in the limited period of time that we have been working with uh, Cortrix, we have helped several clients, you know, deploy Cortrix and fully leverage their Cortrix investment. All, for all of these clients, what we have done is we have helped them implementing and consulting advanced Cortrix features. From there, we went on to build uh, custom solutions around Cortrix and doing some of the complex integrations with the mission critical systems. While doing so, uh, you know, we have worked with more than 50 plus brands. We have finished 150 plus implementations and we have done 50 plus complex integrations, not only in the US, but across the globe. And on that note, I would hand it over to my client, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, Garesh. So many of you probably don't know who Milliman is. We are among the world's largest providers of actuarial and related products and services. Um, we have practices in healthcare consulting, property and casualty insurance, life insurance and financial services, and finally employee benefits. We've been around for about 70 years now and we're an independent firm and we have offices across the globe. Um, it was very exciting for us in the end of 2017, we just hit the $1 billion mark in revenue and we have over 3,400 employees worldwide. Like I mentioned, uh, Milliman has four primary practice areas, uh, first being employee benefits, property and casualty, life and financial services, and then health and welfare. And that's what Milliman Omaha's practice primarily focuses on. So who are Milliman Omaha's customers? Um, about 15, 16 years ago now, we built what's called the Benefit CFO platform of services. And we built this with um, the mid-market employers in mind. Um, those are groups that we define as about 100 employees up to approximately 5,000 employees. So we're, not, we're there to serve um, that middle ground, not the super small employer groups, but not the jumbo groups either. Um, those groups that were looking for more sophisticated financial and actuarial analysis needs. And what we do is we serve those needs um, through a select group or a network of health insurance agencies. So the health insurance agencies are actually our direct clients, and we provide third-party consulting, an independent look for their employer groups. And all in total, we work with about 85 plus insurance agency clients across the country, and then serve about 500 third-party clients through them, and that repre represents about 500,000 employees worldwide. So our, through our Benefit CFO platform, we're recognized as an industry leader through our benchmarking data, which is our survey. We started that the very first year that our practice was incorporated um, as a way to um, give employers better insight as to what kind of um, employee benefits are other employers providing. They want to stay competitive. They want to make sure that they're providing the most innovative benefits they can. And of course, combined with Milliman's um, platform of actuarial analysis, we're able to take the two of those together and um, have unique business intelligence tools from that. So one of the key inputs that's critical to making this flagship offering um, credible and of course successful is the survey data. Like I mentioned, um, this was something that we implemented um, from the very beginning. We ask all kinds of data on employee benefits such as medical data, what kind of dental benefits are you offering, all the way down to, like I mentioned as well, the innovative benefits um, that are kind of up and coming and what's next in, in that kind of environment. Um, over the 15 years, each year we collect about 3 million uh, lives of data, and that represents about $31 billion in healthcare spend. So with our, our challenge was, um, we have worked with WorldApp or Key Survey, and I'm sure many of you have heard about them, um, for several years. And we, for the last couple of years, were not able to do everything that we wanted to or accomplish what we wanted to with our goals with them. And it was really um, kind of like a band aid, we're just kind of move this around here, edit this, but it really was not getting us where we needed to go. So that's where we. Um, we turned to Qualtrics. I had actually looked into Qualtrics a couple years prior, and we weren't quite ready to make that leap yet, and um, looked at Qualtrics compared to some other um, survey vendors out there and just decided this was gonna be the best solution for what we needed to accomplish. So of course, Qualtrics has great features. We knew just by talking with other vendors out there and Qualtrics previously that 
we were not going to be able to just have something out of the box. We were going to have a lot of customization come in just because our survey is not um, standardized like a lot of other ones might be. We're not the ones pushing the survey out there um, directly to employer groups. It's through our agency clients. So that was just one hurdle we needed to cross. And then some other customization requests that we had um, that we wanted to accomplish that we hadn't done before um, was just the ability to incorporate better graphics. Um, we wanted to integrate some rewards or incentives built in throughout the survey because it is a very, like I said, a non-standard survey. It's kind of almost like a form. Um, it can take quite a bit of time to fill out, so we wanted to build some incentives along the way to kind of push people to keep going um, to get them more data. Um, like I said, it's our broker clients that are actually pushing out the survey to get their prospects to participate and their clients to get their data in there. So we needed um, a way for them to be able to track, send and track emails. That's something that they'd requested for a few years that we just really wanted to incorporate. Um, the ability to more accurately track how complete a survey was really important. That's one of the questions we get all the time from our brokers. Well, how do I know if ABC company has actually filled out the whole survey? or filled out the necessary pieces that we want. So we've added a lot, of, um, a lot of pieces in that will help with that this year. And then just the ability to incorporate more user feedback through a star rating that we've incorporated as well at the end of the survey. Um, a couple other thing, features that we needed um, within our survey was API integration. We have um, some actuarial tools on the back end that well, once the survey is completed, the API takes it and combines it with our actuarial tools downstream to our business intelligence tools that our clients can utilize. Um, so within uh, about a half an hour to an hour from someone taking the survey, they can, it can flow through our tools um, downstream. They can see that. And then the ability to bulk upload data and pre-populate data was really important to us too. Again, not a standard survey. It's very long. Um, someone coming in for the first time, it might take them an hour to complete it because it's asking about every single employer, employee benefit that they offer. Um, so if an employer, or excuse me, if a broker client that we have has a lot of their client data already, we can bulk upload that data for them. Or if a participant has completed the survey within the last two years, their data will be there. They just need to make edits because most of the time it's the premiums and contributions that are being affected to those plans. So as far as implementation goes, um, Qualtrics and UGAM, the expertise made it really easy and seamless to work with them. Um, we didn't, I don't think we even realized we were working with UGAM at first um, because it was just, I don't know, it was very well integrated. So what UGAM started with, they took our business problem, really tried to understand that, um, come up with some ideas on how they were gonna execute these changes and just really, we're really great at the communication side of things. Um, and then of course with Qualtrics, combined with that, with all the features that they offer, which I'm sure we're not even utilizing fully uh, to that fullest potential yet, but both of them combined with that technological expertise has really been, um, like I said, a seamless process for us. So the outcome, we actually just had launched our survey um, this week, so we haven't seen a lot of the effects of it with our employer groups, but just again to give you a flavor of what some of the um, edits we made to the survey this year. On this screen we have um, just some of the improved graphics we had. We implemented um, one of our sections is best in benefits, and within that you can kind of see that box in orange in the middle. Uh, we have, and this is just some of the complexity too, where we have best in benefits and we have just general information we ask about, then we have medical. Um, within each section, those major sections of the dark blue, we have very specific pieces of data that people have to complete in order for um, the progress bar at the bottom to complete as well, and that's just more of the how complete is this survey. Um, so that's going to give people, our brokers, a lot more information and do we need to go back to ABC Company and say, we noticed you only finished the first section of the survey and was 50% complete. So that's a, one feature. Another feature, um, we have kind of stop points within the survey where they've, okay, completed this best in benefits section or um, the next section of the survey where it's kind of this break point where we're going to give them free access to um, some of our business intelligence tools. It's not the full access version, it's a, an attenuated version of it, but it kind of, 
will give them a little more incentive, we think, to keep going to say, wow, if I keep going with this survey, I'll be able to get a full version of this. You see how my benefits compare? And that's just another um, attenuated business intelligence tool we have in here where they can drill down uh, by state, city, industry, size of employer, just to see how their benefits stack up. Um, and this is where um, a lot of our brokers had their own incentives where they said, you know, complete this, we'll give you a $10 gift card. They were tracking all of that information on their own and it was very difficult and they had to, you know, have someone specifically dedicated to track all of that. Here we've just built it in where if they complete, uh, fully complete the survey, they'll be able to get this $10 gift card just automatically sent to them and they'll be able to easily track that information here. And then this is the last page of the survey before someone would submit it. Um, this is where they can refer others to participate, which I think um, we'll get a lot more traction from that too. And then also this is where we have our star rating of the survey. And like I said, we just launched our survey this last week, so we haven't seen a lot of the impact from that yet. But um, we did just have a client conference, and this is just a quote that I got back in an email from one of our clients. And, um, is reflective of uh, a lot of the feedback that we heard. People are excited about it. They think it's going to modernize our survey a little bit more um, than years past, and it's going to help them differentiate themselves from other competitors out there. There's a lot of healthcare surveys um, that they're competing with, so they're excited about it. Um, in closing, like I said, we've had a lot of customization, um, a lot of working through the through those things that we've needed to have, but we're excited to continue working with Ugam and Qualtrics, and we already have a wish list of things that we want to continue to work on for next year. And I would absolutely recommend Qualtrics and Ugam together. Uh, like I said, it was a very seamless process. Um, they really took the time and spent that, um, I, can't, I don't know, kind of went the extra mile to figure out what our problems were and maybe anticipate and suggest things that we can do to make our survey even better. So. Thank you, Jessica. So when we first uh, started, uh, when we first got this requirement, you know, I and my team in Uga met Caltrex, we were thinking, you know, what Millimans wanted to achieve, whether that is really possible to achieve in Caltrex. The first thought that came to our mind was like, what they want to achieve is close to impossible <laughs> to implement in Caltrex, but I am, I am very glad and I am proud that my colleague Mohammad Ali Rajapkar sitting right over there and my client Jessica, they helped us prove wrong and they were eventually able to get this solution implemented uh, within the Caltrex. So just to summarize, uh, you know, our great ability, to, sorry, our ability to understand uh, client business context thoroughly with a significant experience in Caltrex platform and uh, under, fully understanding the underlying technologies, not only what Caltrix, uh, Caltrix uses to build their product, but uh, all the you know, widely used technology stack across the world, when combined with Ugam's data and analytics capabilities, really help us to get a complete holistic view about the client's problem and help us to provide a better solution to them. On that note, thank you so much, guys, uh, for attending this session. Uh, we, did, we did share uh, similar success stories uh, yesterday and earlier in the day today. If you didn't got a chance to look at those sessions, you could download them from our website. We also have one-on-one uh, you know, -on -one consulting sessions just right outside, uh, opposite to the convention, uh, convention center. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to uh, ask. Come there, you know, we'll, we'll provide one-on-one -on -one consulting. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, Rob, would be, I, would, I and Jessica would be happy to take. incredibly long survey. We do. <laughs> how long is it? And how have incentives worked? And uh, kind of along those lines. 
By how long do you mean how long does it take to complete or how many I questions? I see that people can uh, leave and come back. Do they have to leave and come back? There's stuff they need to like get the question and then go find an answer and come back. Is it intended they can't complete it in one sitting? No, they, if they have all the information about their employee benefits, they should be able to complete it fairly quickly. It's the frustration comes when people don't have that in front of them, and that's why we had to build that save and finish later in so that they can come back and continue on with the survey just because it's so long and more of a form per se than a quick, you know, five minute, two minute survey. Did you track the analytics around whether people, like how long people? We get were not in, able to in? do that with our last vendor, so we haven't been able to do that yet. It's on the wish list. Though. It's on the wish list. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Um, the groups that are targeted are anything, any employers that are 50 plus groups all the way, it, we can really have any size group participate, but our sweet spot is really the 100 life to 5,000 employers, employees. Hi. Um, does Milliman have um, this, this survey across all of its practices, or is this just kind of a practice by practice decision? Um, each, each practice is very entrepreneurial, so mm -hmm. our practice is the only one that has it currently. Um, we do utilize some of the data in the Milliman Medical Index, which is a firm-wide um, report that they put together each year. Okay. I think the Seattle office does have Qualtrics, so uh, there's something to check out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, she and I talked um, last year, and I highly recommended Qualtrics to her. So. I'm hoping she took it up. Yeah, I think they actually use them for the employee engagement survey. Yeah. Unless I missed something, what were the limitations in the Qualtrics software that caused you to concern that you could use it? Can you give us some insight into that? Sure. Can you hear me? So there was not a limitation, but uh, you know, so like. I could list down things. So first, first and foremost, the the look and feel what they wanted, right? So on the left hand side, there were a table of content. They wanted a customized uh, progress bar. They wanted a customized mechanism to not only send in incentive to finish the who finished the survey, but also to send incentive to let's say to a friend, to a colleague. They wanted a solution where. Let's say you know we had to upload all the historical data. So when they come back, they, we wanted to pre-populate all the existing data, which was answered previously. So that was one of the customized solutions. Then the other thing that I could think of, like you know, we wanted to give them some mechanism to you know reset their password. So we did that functionality. Then uh, there was also a solution where we wanted to have a lot of like various customized look and feel where you know things want we had to show them side by side one below the other we had to use drop down so it was very like look and feel heavy and some of the solutions were related to incentives and everything we had to take take care of that through apis plus uh, we also had to have uh, make a provision for multiple brokers so let's say they are working with 55 brokers minimum. So you know every broker, when they get into the survey or get into the system, we had to put certain restrictions so that they could see only their specific data. They could invite those people. So a lot of restrictions were required around those uh, requirement. And we had to like fully leverage each and every features of Cortrix, you know, implement some of the custom CSS, JavaScript, make extensive use of API to get all of these solutions tightly built together and have it make it ready. Please share your feedback uh, on this particular number. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for attending the session. Enjoy your evening. OK, thank you.